But I don't work hard at language arts because I sit behind my best friend and I hide and I didn't read the crucible. Let me tell you what I got on the crucible essay. I got a seven on the crucible essay. I didn't read it. I didn't even have the book. I just wrote and I was like, mm, let me just write about what I feel. And this album came up to me and said, oh, this is a really good essay. I was really proud of you. You did a really good job. You got a seven. That's really good. And I'm like, oh my god, I love the book. And you know, it took me so long to, you know, I really had to analyze it. I sit in the back, we learn about vocab, I just sit on my phone, sit on my phone. I don't think I've ever looked up, I don't even know what the whiteboard looks like, but on all of her vocabulary tests, out of 46, I get like 45 and 46. She comes up to me and she's like, oh, you did such a good job. Thanks, Ms. Alvin. I'm getting credit for an AP class that I swear to God, I do nothing in. And yeah, we have to write essays and it's kind of a pain in the ass, but, and I'd rather be in Ransom's class, but I mean, at the end of the day, I really do nothing in that AP class. Now that's not to say that I don't know anything in all my AP classes, because if you look at Barron's class, that class is a lot of work. But I'm not gonna lie, I breeze through the homework, and I cheat through the homework, and I basically do everything except on the test, I get good scores on the test, and that's why I have an A in that class. How many of you guys that earlier raised your hand, how many of us have all stayed up past 2 a.m. for homework projects? Oh, yeah, this is a big one, right? Last, I think it was on Monday, Sunday night, I stayed up till 5.30 in the morning doing homework for AP US History. You guys want to know why? Honestly, because it wasn't Mr. Barron's fault. It was because I procrastinated it. So how many of those people that stayed up all late procrastinated the last minute? Oh yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, is maybe you wouldn't have to do the project in regular, because I'll tell you what I do in regular, I color. I got the crayons out more than once in my regular math class, too. It's a math class and I colored. Um, and you know, like, uh, like Haya's brother said, just like how an AP class, you know, it, you know, it really impacts your writing skills and helps your writing skills, my coloring skills, I must speaker. say, yeah, stop moving around, Zeeshan. I'm trying to sell the No. Sean? 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 No. Sean? No. Sean? No. No. So, I mean, like I said, like I said, just my, my writing skills have improved because of APOS history. My coloring skills, I can now color instead of the lines. <laughs> I learned crayon a little bit better. I learned different colors. It doesn't mean in regular classes your skills aren't challenged, guys. You learn just, um, you learn just as much. I learned today in my language arts class, while we were, all everyone else was doing vocab, I learned something a little bit more interesting. Did you guys hear that they brought a two-year-old back to life after he drowned and was dead for 30 minutes? and he had brain damage and they put him inside of a little Star Wars container and he came out and he had no brain damage. Yeah, I learned that from language arts, but it was because I did nothing. You guys have to understand that it's not necessarily just the class. It's not necessarily hey, shut up. just Let's talk. AP US history that's doing this whole thing. Clearly, what are you doing in speaking? Get your next thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I gotta say, it doesn't matter. The okay. Like I was saying though, okay, it doesn't necessarily matter the class. I'm taking pre okay, I'm taking pre-cal and my little sister is taking pre-cal. My little sister is taking honors pre-cal, she's a sophomore. I'm taking regular pre-cal as a junior. She asked me, do you know how to do this? Can you help me? And I said, what the fuck is that? I color in pre-cal. Right? <laughs> it's not just the subject, because let me tell you, I learned the same thing, but it's not just the subject, so. Question, and I'm not being a dick. Do you think yeah, that um, that the AP organization or college board accounts for the fact that you're just a talented writer and that you're actually good at that? Because let me ask you right now: Do you think that if Baron gave you a test on on your textbook right now, that you'd be able to pass it as easily? Um. Okay. Well, that's the thing about AP tests because they have two. Stop like asking your question. No, 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 no. I'm not. Uh, your question is posed, not asking your question. I do believe that uh, AP takes that into account because I know for a fact in my AP Euro test, I probably got 20 out of the 80 multiple choice questions. But I'm pretty damn sure I wrote an 8 on that DBQ because I passed. 
So yeah, they probably take that into account that I can bullshit my way through a lot of those essays, but I still passed the, I still passed the test. Final speaker, fight to the death. Hey, Grady, you did a great job today, but I gotta get a dad video, okay? Uh, is there a uh, final speaker? Final speakers? Oh. I need a final speaker for Pro and a final speaker for Con. Bro, Miss Cleo, what are you doing? Con. Okay. Oh, Anthony and Beyond, Pro and Con. Con will go first. Con. Hey, make a speed test. What? Yeah. Alright. Careful. No, it's crossfire. Crossfire. It's crossfire. Two minutes of crossfire. Two minutes of crossfire. Minutes of crossfire. How, how do you do crossfire? Uh, each person has two minutes. You, know, you keep talking, you stop. Other person starts talking, you stop. It's like, it's like you can talk for five seconds, you slam it, you can talk for five seconds, you go. Alright, we'll be quiet. Hang on, hang on. Wait, we need two timers. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Alright, um, this is a learning experience for you guys. Ready? This is the format I'm following right now. It's called Crossfire Debates. Self explanatory, but here we go. We, you guys have two timers. One for two, one for one. No, no, no. It's speed chess. Okay, speed chess oh, is not crossfire. They don't have crossfire debates. Speed chess are two minutes for two speakers at a time. Basically, what happens is suppose uh, Aaron, I mean Anthony and Young are battling it out. Uh, after Anthony's done saying whatever he wants for the five, suppose he says, "You know what, Young? I hate AP classes. Why would you like them?" He stops, and Young can reply to him. I like them, and I think that they're wonderful. Why the hell would you say that they're bad? And then Young can smack it and go back. So, uh, you have two minutes to battle it up, ladies. Okay. I want a clean fight, ladies. No fight. Real uh, quick. He didn't know what he was signing up for. So, anyone yeah, who wants to keep AP classes. Are we ready? No. no. Yeah, we have this one minute anymore. Well, I can do it Should if no one else wants to, but someone else should. Oh. 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 Three. Ready? 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 Okay. Baby? Oh, God. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs>